At Microbiome Labs, we are focused on total gut restoration. Now, there are three major parts to that. The first part is an effective probiotic. You're already familiar with Megasporbiotic, and one of the main functions of Megasporbiotic is reconditioning the gut in order to allow for the growth of other beneficial species. Now, we're going to be publishing a paper this year that shows that adding Megasporbiotic to the microbiome actually increases the diversity of the microbiome. It even increases the growth of certain key bacteria like Acromantia mucinophilia, Fecalum bacteria prosnitsi, Bifidobacteria, and so on. Now, the second part to total gut restoration is going to be feeding those bacteria on a continuous basis that enhances their ability to grow and compete with unfavorable microbes. And that's where prebiotic comes in. Now, most general prebiotics, and we've been investigating this for the last three years, but most general prebiotics will feed good and bad bacteria equally. They're basically carbohydrates that are fermentable by bacteria, but they don't have any specific structures that distinguish its capability of feeding good or bad bacteria. So we've taken this to the next level. We're going to something called precision prebiotics. We've painstakingly researched ingredients that have been clinically shown to feed certain groups of just good bacteria. So think about it this way. If you've already got a dysbiotic flora and you've got an imbalance of good and bad bacteria, and let's say you have too much bad bacteria, if you put a prebiotic in, a general prebiotic, it's basically food for all bacteria. It's going to feed the bad bacteria just as well as the good, and it may further that imbalance and cause more problems. So we're going to that precision prebiotic that has ingredients in it that specifically feed good genres of bacteria. Now, we've also focused on four different oligosaccharides. Now, oligosaccharides are some of the most important categories of prebiotics. In fact, if you look at mother's milk, which has been perfected by evolution over millions of years, mother's milk contains over 200 different types of oligosaccharide prebiotics because they're the best types of prebiotics to feed bacteria specifically. Now, our ancestors consumed a lot of probiotics in the environment. And that's where megaspore comes from. These are environmental bacteria that have the capability of surviving through, getting into the system, and actually performing probiotic functions. Our ancestors also ate lots of prebiotics, especially oligosaccharide prebiotics. They got it in roots and tubers. They got it in fruits and different types of vegetables and berries. And part of it is because they ate the entire food. They ate the skins, they ate the seeds, they ate the core. And a lot of these oligosaccharides are found in the core or in the seeds or even in the um, skin of the fruit. So what we've done is we found clinically, clinically researched prebiotics, four of them uh, specifically, that actually s increases the growth of acromantia, bifidobacteria, fecalum bacteria prosnitsi, and other good genres of bacteria without feeding the bad bacteria. So we're creating the second leg to total gut restoration, which is an effective precision prebiotic.